Hello guys and gals, and we're... Wait, the face cam's frozen. There we go. Hello guys and gals, we're back with more Heracross Brick Break. This is a game by Argon Vile. Um, let's see, we're going to, of course, start off with the easy. This looks like it's, um, one of the Gotharitas, actually. I don't know if it's Gothitelle, or... I can never remember which one is which. Okay, well, I don't think we want that power-up if we're going to go for um, the fighting power-up. Or rock. Okay, there's water. I'm going to try to avoid that power-up. There we go. Just for now. I kind of like the rock power-up or fighting. It has the fighting icon, but they call it the rock power-up. Which is kind of like in the... The, the, the card game because there's several types all balked in together. Okay, there we go. Okay. Each of those hard blocks there take uh, six hits, so it's good to have a ball that actually does more than one point of damage. Okay, this is going to be a little bit dicey. Okay, bounced just the right angle. I think it's Gotharita, if I'm not mistaken. But I probably am. I'm not familiar with this um, this line. I guess that ball did six damage. That was pretty cool. Because it's one shotting the blocks. Carrying over any damage from earlier. Ooh, this is nice. There. The slower the ball, the bigger it gets. So that's really helpful. There we go. Hit the ball. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit of a chance here and try this. Okay, we can hit this, this, and this. Okay. I think this is the only power up where the balls can collide. Otherwise, the balls go through one another. Okay, uh oh. There we go. Oh, I thought sure I'd hit that, but I do see that I missed. But that's okay, we had a um, shield, so it was fine. Whoa, okay, we're going to dodge that. Dodge that. Definitely dodge that. There we got another shield anyways. There we go. So, let's see what we got. There we go. Okay, and then we just do this. Okay. I think this is probably as slow as the ball can go. Ooh. Dodge that. There we go. Okay, glad we missed that. And we hit this. There we go.
Okay, we probably should dodge this, but we're not. We're going to take a chance. Okay, we don't need to worry about getting power-ups anymore. Well, we will anyways, but we don't really need to. Getting more power-ups is going to do absolutely nothing. Okay, um, we're going to skip that power-up, actually, that time power because there is no way I could safely get it. There we go. can safely get all this, of course. There we go. Okay, once we hit these, I'll probably summon some more. Okay, we're going to summon one there and summon one there. There we go. Gatherita? Yeah, Gotharita. Okay, I guess I was right. So, anyways, c credits. Art, code, and sound by Argonvile. Test, no guard passerby. Special thanks to the Flixel team, the Flash Develop team, and Tom VN4 Assets Fixer, and all the talented game designers whose brilliant ideas ripped off in the making of this game. Uh, final score was... 17,220, favorite power Barack. To Pokemon Lost Zero, how'd you do that? That's very weird. To be continued in here, across the Brick Break 2, available on PS4 and ColecoVision in 2014. Okay, so. So, let's see. We'll practice this one. This is only going to be the hard one. We need to practice the expert one in order to, you know, one-shot it, probably. Of course, sometimes you just get lucky, but... That's going to be the only way that we probably beat an expert mode without dying. Without losing a ball. Well, actually, not necessarily not losing a ball, but... Without, um... Continuing. I'm sure there's probably something... Uh-oh. Ah. Oh well. Oh, that's close. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm safe here. Oh, well. Uh oh. Well, we're safe here. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Uh, had it been all the way against the wall, that would have been fine, but I wasn't, so that wasn't fine. Okay, we have to let that one go, otherwise we will have lost the paddle. Whoa, okay, that was close. Okay, well, we're getting lots of um, the, the fighting power, the rock powers, which are really nice. I don't know if they're really good against this boss, but they might be. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm safe here. Okay. Nice. I think it's raining outside. Sure sounds like it. Okay, and we lost the paddle. That's okay. You can still win, I think. Okay, well, we're gonna lose the ball, I guess. That's okay. And we completely missed. Uh-oh. And the ball stuck. There it comes. Okay. The ball is stuck. There we go. Yep. Okay, well, we just need to dodge those destructive obstacles. Well, okay, let's try that. Okay. Well, getting that last block is really, really annoying. Okay, well, we hit it. But it just wasn't with enough force. So, anyways, let's, uh, okay, well, we'll just 
try this. Okay, well, we hit it again. Okay. Okay, that was close, but I took the chance. Okay, that was close. I moved it just the last second. Not sure I was dead there. There you go. Okay, 121,710. Okay. Okay, so credits. Art, code, and sound by Argon File. Test no guard passerby. Special thanks to the Flixel team, the Flash Develop team, and Tom Vian for SS Fixer and all the talented game designers whose brilliant ideas ripped off in the making of this game. Final score was 121,710. Uh, favorite power of Psychic to a po Pokemon Lost 7, Never Forget Among Us, Auron, Lotad Meowth, Rat Ratata, Trapinch, and Unpheasant. To be continued in Haircross Brick Break 2, available on PS4 and ColecoVision in 2014. Okay, so we are really warmed up now. We were able to beat that. That was decent. So let's see. Let's try an expert run. Oh, that's Darmanitan. Ooh, that ball is fast. Fast ball. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay. War at least slows it down. Oh, fire. We'll use fire. Okay. Seems fitting. Unless you're talking about Galarian Darmanitan, which is ice type. Uh, yeah, we're gonna stick with fire. We could have went with fighting or rock, but ooh, there we go. Fine, we'll do this. Good. You need to slow it down? Okay, good. Okay. Get a second there. That was close. Too close for comfort. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, I need to claim this. Slow down the ball again. And I think it's time we summon another ball. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. There, we'll just hit it with the corner and maybe it will do cool things. I think we're safe here. Okay, we're not safe here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got water power-ups on the way. We need to slow the ball down again. Except I think it's already as slow as it'll get. Okay, we'll deflect that back.
Ah, missed. Almost got by with a perfect on that one, but that's okay. Got juked. There we go. As long as the ball stays on course, yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that should bounce it just where it needs to be. Yeah, okay, we missed one. There's one pixel up there that we still need to hit. Okay. Okay. That should hit. Yeah, Darmanitan. It's Darmanitan. Okay. This is, um, Golem. This is Golem. I can tell by the feet, actually. And the pose. There's only one Pokemon that has that pose. That's Golem. Hard to break these blocks. Oh, well, you have Ghost Ball. Okay. I think we'll actually get the Psychic here. Maybe Grass would be the play, but... Nope. Looks like Psychic is the play. Okay, the ball is, I mean, the bricks are so close, it's going to be difficult. Okay, that was almost disastrous. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's definitely Golem. Okay, bounce back out. That's not what you want to see. Okay. Bounce back out and I wasn't able to reclaim the trajectory. That wasn't too good. Okay, well... Okay... Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. I didn't go over far enough because I didn't want to get that as a power. So, I missed it.
Okay, this isn't too bad. I don't want to get another speed up because then I won't be able to control the ball. Okay, let's see if we can do this. And then we can do this. And then we can do this. Uh oh, it's about to break through. Okay, we're gonna move out of the way of all those un oncoming power ups. Oh, I missed. Go. If you really look at Gollum, he looks a lot, very reptilian, which is really cool. I mean, if you look at the clawed hands, even the face, well, you can't see much of the face, but the face is even reptilian. Kind of neat, really. There, that's better. Looks like we lose this time, but that's okay. Sometimes we do really well, sometimes we don't. It all depends on the power-ups we get. This time we just didn't get the right power-ups, which is perfectly fine. Well, let's go back and do another easy one to warm up. And um, we have Relicanth here, it looks like. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, Okay. Maximum timer for this is um, one hour, actually. You'll never go over 59 minutes, 59 seconds, and 9 microseconds. That's as high as it goes.
there. Let's see. Okay. okay. That's going to change the trajectory substantially. Go. There we go. Substantially better. Okay. Ten seconds. Nice. Anyways, let's see. We need to be collecting these power ups. There we go. Five seconds. And, uh, oh, that one bounced back. Okay, I don't think we want that power up. There we go. There we go. And I was off by just a couple centimeters there, maybe even millimeters. So, anyway, let's. Okay. Well, we are making progress. There we go. And. Ooh, 15 seconds. Don't mind if I do. Don't need that power up, but we will take the shield. You can always use shields. Twenty seconds. Nice. This isn't like the ice power up where you can knock the projectiles back. With the ice power up, that's kind of the gimmick. With this one, you just can't really do that. As if the fireballs don't hit anything, then they just fall off the screen. With the ice power up, you could deflect them back, but there isn't like a firestorm ability or anything. 
to be can to be um, comparable to the blizzard. So, anyways, let's see what we got here. Okay, well, I was hoping that we would get rid of those blocks. Those were the ones that I, that looked like they would be difficult to get rid of. Ooh, well, we got a lot of time coming up. 23 seconds, that's nice. Okay, there we go. That should, okay, nope. It should have, but no, it didn't. It should have, okay, well, wait. We do this, and then we can go over here. We might as well claim this, collect it, since we can. Okay, so all we have left is the area over there. Um, getting the right angle is going to be difficult, so we're going to try this. Hitting it that direction so it bounces off the wall. Okay, that helped a little bit. I'm going to try this with a low angle. There we go. See, you can't do anything with the fireballs. go okay we are almost there let's see so we can boop 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 and we'll hit a little bit there we go there we go no, okay, got it. Uh oh. There we go. Um, we'll try this angle right here, like that. Okay, that wasn't good. Let's try this. There we go. That should hit dead center. Okay. It was off by a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh, but they all, all the fireballs soaked in. That's good. We do that again. That'd be nice. Uh, not quite. Try that. There we go. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to get those last few bricks. Let's try this. Trying to see if we can get a different angle here. There we go. That might work. Yeah, there we go. 14,480. Okay. It's Relicanth. Yeah, I should have said that earlier. I knew it was Relicanth the whole time. Anyways, credits, art, code, and sound by Argon Vile, Test No Guard, Passer by. Special thanks to the Flixel team, the Flash Develop team, and Tom VN for SS Fixer, and all of the talented game designers whose brilliant ideas were ripped off the making of this game. Final score was 14,480 points. Favorite power up was Fire. Topo 1 lost 0. How'd you do that? That's very weird. Be continued in. Heracross Brick Break 2 available on PS4 and ColecoVision in 2014. Awesome. So. Let's see. Let's try the shadow thing again. Well, actually, we're going to check the recording time real quick. I didn't notice what time it was when I started recording, so let's see. We're 35 minutes in, so that's fine. Let's do this. Okay, that's Zubat. That is Zubat. Okay, uh, that's um, Herdier. Not Stoutland, it's Herdier. Herdier. Okay, maybe it is Stoutland. I guess it has to be Stoutland. Uh, that is, uh, oh, that's Crafty. That is Solrock. 
That is Bufalant. Not to be confused with Taurus. It has, a, it has an afro. This, um, that's some, um, uh, blah, 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 that is Swana. Okay, Swana, Swana. That is Omen, Oma Star. That is, that's Marl's ears. Or Azumarill. It's Azumarill. That's, okay, what is that? Shelter, Shelgon, Shelmet, Pelipper, Gastrodon, uh, Oh, it's that. Okay. That's Arceus. That is Hippopotus. That's Beedrill. You can tell by the, 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 the thing, the drill thing. That's um, Vanillite. No, it's Vanillish. Okay. I don't know what how that goes. That's Hydreigon. Uh, yeah, Hydreigon. Okay. 960,590. A A A minus. Okay, I love this rating system. It's so cool. Okay, so let's see. We'll try that again. Uh, that's Lugia, obviously. Almost actually hit Puppetar. Uh, the Mr. Mime. I need to make sure that I'm centered on these. Uh, Shuckle. Uh, that's Vanillish. I remember from last time. That's um, Badu. Badu, not Buizel. There it is, Badu. That's, uh, that's the middle stage. That's, um, not, that's... Marsh Stomp. That's, um, something gassy. That's gas... Ghastly. Uh, that's the... That's a sage, semi-sage. Because it has the, the sage leaf on its head. That's, um, Zatu. Uh, that's Beautifly's, uh, wing. That's Clefairy. Clefairy, there it is. Clefairy. That's, um, Infernape. That has to be Infernape. That's, oh no. Uh, oh boy, I'm gonna have to guess. Oh, it's Kakuna's head. Okay. That's Blissey. Now, it isn't Weasel, by the way. That's Blissey. And that's Slugma. Slugma. A plus plus minus. Okay. That's pretty cool. Well, let's try Expert here and see if we can beat this. We might not be able to. Because this is Expert. Oh, wow, that ball's fast. What is this ball in the Major Leagues or something? That ball is way fast. I know that some pitchers can actually throw like a ball like hundreds of miles per hour or something. I don't know. They actually use speed guns, you know, to so that they uh, know how fast the ball is going, and that just kind of blows my mind that a pitcher can actually throw a ball that fast. That a human can throw a ball that fast, actually. Then, then, then again, we have to work on the assumption that the people who actually play baseball are actually humans and not like robots or something. Because they are capable of superhuman feats, so it's more like they're superheroes, you know. And what better cover for um, a robot posing as a human as to as to play for um, as a baseball player, you know, posing as a baseball player? Because I mean, you know, who actually watches baseball? Because it's kind of really boring. And again, I. Don't take that any offense to that because I find every single sport to be boring except for like horse racing and stuff like that. And I don't even gamble on the horse racing. I just like looking at the horses. I mean, I like. I mean, um, I even find NASCAR boring because I mean, like they're going around the track. I mean, who really cares? <laughs> sure, there's a, a crash every so often that's kind of exciting, I suppose. But I've always find it find sports dreadfully boring. I mean, I've always been that way. I've always found sports to be very, very boring. All sports. Oh, 
Well, not technically a sport. I used to watch some wrestling. Back when The Rock, you know, used to wrestle, I used to watch that. I think I started watching wrestling when there was some kind of plot twist or something about Al Snow and them feeding him his dog or something. I don't know. It's really a weird time. They, like, kidnapped his chihuahua and supposedly fed it to him or something. I don't know. And then I, th like, watched while Kurt Angle, like, joined and then somebody, like, took his medals and threw him off a bridge or something because he was, like, a, you know, Olympic athlete or something. And Kurt Angle was like the poster child or something, like Mr. Perfect, and then suddenly he met his match when like Hulk Hogan came back or something, or Goldberg or somebody. And the ball stuck. Oh, there, there it goes. I didn't think we'd be able to win this one, which is fine. Now I know what we're up against, so we're going to try again. Okay, I don't think we're going to win this one. Okay. So, okay. What? Okay. Okay. Seems like the only way I can get the ball up there is to let the ball drop, so that's fine. That's what we'll do. Okay. Um, okay. At least we don't lose time if we break our paddle. Okay, that's tough. Anyways, let's see. Um, how long have we been recording? 43 minutes, so... We still have time for another easy, I guess. And that's Chimchar, by the way. I can just tell. That's definitely Chimchar. You can tell because he has a fiery backside. Basically, that entire chain has... That entire evolution chain has something fiery. I think with Infernape, it's his belt. With Monferno, it's his tail. And I think that with... Chem charts is it's also his tail. Isn't it? Or maybe I'm thinking of Incineroar. Incineroar has a flaming belt. I don't know. Maybe it is uh, in Infernape I think does have a fiery tail also. They did keep that consistent, I guess. I was thinking of Incineroar. I only know Incineroar because sometimes I watch those um, Smash Ultimate videos and people like Incineroar or something. I'm surprised more people don't play Lucario. But then again, Lucario's in um, Pokken Tournament or Pokken Tournament, however it's pronounced. Tekken, it's like Pokemon and Tekken. I actually played that game for a little while. Uh, back when it was free, there was a time when it was like free on Switch. You could play the game, the full game for free for like a couple days. So I did that. I was going to buy it when it was on sale, but then just didn't get around to it. Ended up buying um, Pokemon Scarlet instead. I mean, it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I mainly used Lucario, I, th I think. 
much is the same with Pokemon Scarlet. I mean, I mainly, um, if you had Lucario, then you could basically beat um, the Elite Four. Well, the final Elite Four woman, La Primera. Uh, Gita, I think her name was. If you had Lucario, you, you could just basically sweep your team with a Lucario. Basically, I just Googled um, all the teams and then figured out strategies, and basically the team I had worked for what she had, for what all the Elite Four had, for what... for what all the quest chain people had. Although, I haven't had time to play Pokemon Scarlet today. I've been making videos all day. I've been trying something different here. What I'm trying to do is, um, takes twice as long, but I wanted to, uh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's good. I've been trying to, um, basically get two weeks worth of videos done in one week so that I don't have to do videos for a week, except for product reviews. So, um, yeah. And that's going pretty well. I just haven't had time for much else since I've been spending all my extra time making videos in advance. I'm not going to take a vacation or anything. Not that, I just... I don't know. Basically, it all started when um, I did... When I unlocked Eve on The Binding of Isaac, I finally... I don't know, I did it unintentionally. I unlocked Eve. And I'm like, well, I want to play another... Another, you know, make another video of me playing Eve because I unlocked Eve. And I'm like, okay, well, I've got two weeks of videos done. I might as well just continue the trend. So, um, it all went from there. Which means two hours of... This is the first hour of, um, Argon Vial. Argon Vial's Heracross Brick Break means two hours of the Pokemon Red Randomizer, two hours of Hexen, um, all that. All the Microsoft Solitaire stuff is already done, like, m months and months in advance. We're literally like 500 videos behind on Microsoft Solitaire Collection. There's really nothing to do about that. But anyways, yes, as for um, Pokemon Scarlet, it, I took my time at first, you know. Didn't get make very much progress, and then just one day I just went and just beat all the quest chains took about two hours but I went through beat all the quest chains and now I'm um, down, I'm down in the great crater of Pal Paldea doing that quest chain I have all the starters and the stars are really powerful I mean all of them are so if you have a team that has all three starters in it I'm probably gonna have to actually get rid of Flo Floatzel I almost did before because I found this really powerful Vaporeon that was like level 50 when I caught it and was um, water terastalized so it was one of those overworld terastal Pokemon Pokemon and um, so that means that all of its water attacks were like you know completely busted so anyways I taught Floatzel um, Ice Beam to handle dragons, but um, it kind of got one shot a couple times, so yeah. I probably should have stuck with the more tanky Vaporeon. Because Floatzel has good attack, but not isn't really very bulky. Not as bulky as, say, a, a Vaporeon. The only problem with Vaporeon is it isn't fast. Vaporeon is like only 85 speed, and Floatzel had like over 100. I don't remember. I have it written down somewhere. I wrote the stats down side by side so I could compare them and I should have went with the more bulky Vaporeon, probably, but it was okay. I mean, I still, you know, like, won. But now that I have Quaxley, I'm probably going to just keep Quaxley. One of Nimona's Pokemon. I don't even remember which Pokemon it was, but it was one that I thought... Oh, it must have been a water type or something, because I swapped to, um... Meowscara, which is the, um, fully evolved form of Sprigatito. Um... I swapped to that and used a grass attack, but her Pokemon had Sap Sipper, and so then it just like one-shotted Meowscara. Um, 
uh, Miascarada or whatever the name is. And so it's like, wow. Miascarada is kind of a glass cannon. It has this um, move called Flower Trick, which always crits. So it's, it just tears up things that are weak against grass. I didn't realize that one of her Pokemon had a Sap Sipper, though. So that basically means they don't take damage from grass-type moves, and I think they probably get healed from it, too. I don't know, it was full strength when I hit it, so I was like, okay. By far the best starter, though, in my opinion, of course, is the Fire Starter. Skeledurge, or whatever its name is. Oops, don't mean that. Um, I say that because it's so bulky. It is a tank. It's slow. It's kind of slow, but boy, it can take hits. Oops. It can really take hits. I mean, it's taken earthquakes before and not died. Well, granted, part of it was because of the friend mechanic that's in there. But by the time I was done, you know, fighting the Elite Four, fighting Nimona, fighting Arvin, fighting Penny, or whoever she was, I, I wrapped up all the, all the quests, and by then my Pokemon basically hated me by that because they kept getting knocked out, and I just didn't bother starting a picnic. So, it used to be that I would, you know, take better care of them, but then I was like, oh, I want to get through this, this quest chain, and so I'm going to just, you know, rush it. So, they basically, they basically stopped trying, which well, I don't blame them. They kept getting, like, one shot. It got to the point where even Lucario didn't even like me. Which is fine. I can rebuild that trust I guess I actually really like Cyclozar it is a normal dragon type so the normal typing makes it weak against more stuff but um, I really like Cyclozar and I had Cyclozar on my team until I evolved Palmy to or Palmo to Palmot and mainly that was because of Revival Blessing or whatever it's called because that when used it only has one PP when used, it, revi it revives when it, it's like a revive. It revives one of your dead Pokemon. And you get to choose which one. So, uh, funny thing was, I was fighting somebody. I forget. I don't remember if it was the Elite Four or what. But I used that. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to swap into my other Pokemon. Got outsped and then just got bodied anyways. Again, I should have went with a more bulky water-type Pokemon. But now I don't think that's an issue since I have a Quaxley. So, anyways, it all started. More Scarlet stuff. I was going to take on the uh, Water Gem. And I'm like, oh, I don't even really have anything for the Water Gem because my starter was the uh, Fire type dude. Anyways, so I'm like, okay, I'll try. And I bred a bunch of um, Fue Cocos so I could get Sprigatito. And then I used um, Austin John and Philly Beachu's trade codes, you know, so I could get a Sprigatito. So anyways, I did that. I trained the thing up to, you know, on par with the rest of my team. I had tons and tons and tons of EXP candy from doing terror, terror raid dens, um, you know, soloing them, because you can do that in the game. And um, so anyways, I'm at the water gem, and um, I'm like, okay, well now I have a really good fire um, grass type. And I just mopped the floor with him because of flower trick. Wow, I think we're probably going to lose this. That's okay. Flower Trick is, um, I don't remember exactly what the power is on the move, but its it always crits, which is uh, just amazing. Then again, it is kind of glass cannon-y, I guess, because it can't really take a hit very often. But still, it is a very powerful Pokemon. I use it in Terror Raid Dens because basically if you're against a water type, they're just, they're just dead. <laughs> Especially if you trastalize it. Okay, well, this is this is definitely Chimchar. Um. Okay, well. I think we lose this, which is okay. Okay, well, wait, maybe not. Okay, well, we made a little bit of a comeback here. 
Okay, we're just bouncing the ball around. That's kind of all we can do here. Okay. But as you know, Nimona is always f battling you. She's your rival, and they have the trope these days. Well, they didn't in the old days. They have the trope these days of the, the rival, quote-unquote rival, taking the starter that's, that's weak to yours, which I guess... I don't know if that started back in um, Gen 7 or what, but I know that Gen 8 was like that. Hop would take the one that was weak to yours. I guess just so the game is more accessible to, to younger people, I don't know. I don't really mind it. A lot of people are like, oh, like Pokemon games have gotten way too easy, but I don't know. I've never actually played Gen 8 or Gen 7 or Gen 6 or Gen 5 or Gen 4 or Gen 3. Well, wait, I did play... Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Okay. So, let me see. This probably... Okay, four minutes. That's going to do it for this video. I rambled through most of it. Probably spoiled a bunch of Scarlet and Violet stuff, but, um... Oh, well. I should have put a spoiler warning, but I don't think I really gave anything away. You basically fight Nimona all the time. But I just have to say, fighting Nimona is better than fighting Pneumonia. Anyways... With all that being said, um, also, if you take all the letters in Nimona's name, it comes out no name. So I think their name was originally a placeholder or something. They just didn't, didn't ever change it. Anyways, with all that being said, um, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the Discord server, all that information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved and have a great day.